Oh, what's up, I'm Gumby. And this is Huron. We're from Battlecross. And our top horror movies are, what do you got? I'm gonna say, uh, we're gonna start at the bottom. Uh, number five, I'm gonna go with uh, Cannibal Holocaust. The movie is just fucking disturbing and uh, yeah, it's just overall creepy. Music, uh, the soundtrack of it, the movie itself is just disturbing and uh, yeah, I feel depressed after watching that movie. <laughs> One of my top fives would be probably be Hellraiser. I was like six years old, my uh, sister was babysitting me and she thought I could watch it and I wasn't cool with it. Like I remember like sitting in the rocking chair like I have my little wooden rocking chair, just like, I, mean, I want to go to bed. She was like, no, watch this, I want to go to bed. So maybe that's why I fucking hate horror, film, horror films. Uh, another favorite horror movie I have is uh, Halloween. Halloween is one of those movies where it just it sets the mood. There doesn't need to be a lot of gore. It's just the way that the music is in the, in the movie and how Michael Myers was in that whole movie. It's just creepy. And that's what I love about horror movies in general is I think it's missing uh, nowadays. It's just the atmosphere of the movie. And the whole movie is just creepy, that creepy vibe. And uh, I mean, Michael Myers is it, man. He's just unstoppable. There's no emotion. He's just an uh, unstoppable killer. So I loved, I loved Halloween. And uh, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. I'll go with Pumpkinhead. I think I was like 12 or 13 when I watched that. Same kind of story, like, oh my god, I don't want to do it, go home. <laughs> like, I would be like looking under the bed and shit, like, okay, it's cool. And I was only like 13 when I saw the first one, and I was like, oh, they get a banger, oh yeah, ah! Like, that's crazy. Yeah, so Pumpkinhead, that, that one in the monster, dude, he wasn't in it very much, but then like when he came out, I was just like, fuck. So, that, that Pumpkinhead. Uh, the Exorcist. I think that's probably hands down one of the scariest movies. Uh, I remember seeing that when I was really young and it creeped me out, but then when they did the re-release with the extra footage and I went and saw it in theaters and I just remember being terrified, like just that whole movie was just so creepy and the part where she walks down like a spider down the stairs, I was, I was freaked out. But yeah, that movie I think is, uh, you know, still holds to this day, you know, and I'm sure seeing it back in the 70s must have been absolutely terrifying. So uh, definitely The Exorcist. That's, to me, my number one horror movie. Yeah, and the last one, I'm going with Insidious because I watched it when I was a grown ass man and I cried like a little baby. I, literally, I went home, had all my lights on in the house, had my door open so I could see down the hallway and I was sleeping like this, looking down the hallway until I actually like fell asleep not knowing I went to sleep because I was so fucking scared. Like I was just like, I can't go to sleep. The dreams, ah, they're gonna come get me. It's crazy. I, I was scared like a little bitch. 